Under Shenzhou's brush, images transform into a record of the soul's fluctuations. His life's dramatic journey is encapsulated in the Dong Zhuang album, a quintessential example of this improvisational painting style. The Dong Zhuang album originally consisted of 24 openings, with 21 still in existence today. Dong Zhuang was a manor passed down from Wu Quan's ancestors, essentially a rural scene that, through Wu Quan's transformation, acquired a unique scholarly charm. Shen Zhou selected 24 themes from this setting, with the titles inscribed in small seal script by the renowned calligrapher Li Ingen of that time. Shen Zhou wrote a long colophon for this album, which, along with three other paintings in the 24 themes has been lost. This album not only captures the affection between old friends but also highlights their shared values. Despite its small frame, it embodies their attitudes towards life. The album is characterized by its high style, elegance, and profound sincerity. Previous generations have praised it as a work that moves the soul, considering it to be one of Shenzhou's finest masterpieces. The Dong Zhuang album transcends external narration, focusing instead on the internal feelings captured within the painting. Reading and farming are the main narratives of this collection, through which the cultivation of one's character and the elevation of one's life realm are expressed. For instance, in the opening titled, Zhen Yi Gang, Rope Shaking Ridge, a mountain scene is depicted, far from being just a scenic spot in a garden. What is emphasized here is the expansive spirit of, shaking one's clothes on a thousand feet ridge, washing one's feet in a ten thousand mile stream, metaphorically represents an aspiration to maintain one's integrity and virtue. What he paints, or rather, writes, is the expression of his heart, the spontaneous and moving inspiration of the moment, rather than a rote depiction of the garden scenery. Shen Zhou's painting style is simple and elegant, embodying the consistent clarity and loftiness of Shen Zhou's work. Take, for example, the opening titled Gung Shi Xian, Pavilion of Farming and Resting, where inside an old house shaded by towering ancient trees, a person reads, completely lost to the world, with mountains, forests, and streams serving as his backdrop. Or consider, Zhi Lu Ting, Pavilion of Understanding Pleasure, where a person leans on the railing to watch the fish, almost forgetting his own existence. He is bent over the water, while tall trees and the gentle breeze seem to join this world, together achieving a state where heaven and earth coexist with me, and all things are one with me.